in that presentation, I talk about co-cultures because more and more people are actually starting to use co-cultures. And there are different ways in how we can use co-cultures and how we can study the interaction between cells. So, And what we have to consider there is, for example, that a cell first needs to differentiate. So we, if we start with a stem cell and it needs to differentiate, it needs a specific environment to do so. Now, we can provide that. I think that's where we where we currently are. So one cell type to differentiate that, that works. But let's say we start with two cell uh, stem cell types and we want to differentiate them into different lineages. Then basically, how, how do we do that if they are in the same medium, for example, or in the same environment? So that was one aspect. And the other one is that well, often we want to create a model to study how the cells interact with each other. And there we should also take into account that we actually want to reach tissue homeostasis at some point and then to study how interventions act, not just to get there and be happy with, oh, we have something that looks like bone, that have something that looks like a nerve cell. But now we want to go a step further and actually yeah, understand how do the cells interact in the healthy or also in the pathological state. I think at this point, we're still mostly probing it out. So what, what I see as my task is we're, we're trying out what could potentially work, what has what kind of influences, and hopefully others, especially other fields, actually, they don't need to make the same mistakes or they can, for example, use a more... Um, standardized approach, like a design of experiments approach, for example, rather than like us a bit doing the search for the needle in the high stack. So I hope that will help. And also this shift in thinking that, oh, we made it there that we actually get a tissue. Well, yeah, we have now, we're, we're now capable of engineering certain tissues, but how should we go further with them to yeah, I, I see it as my task to kind of stimulate these thoughts to not just be happy with what we've achieved so far, but to look into how do we take it further from where we are now.